short job for today. Uh, the rake, the last time I was using it, uh, the uh, hydraulic line running from the the uh, hydraulic line running from uh, the hydraulic arm that raises both sides of the rake. Uh, this this uh, line, as you can see, is getting old and it's been sitting out in the weather most of its life. So I had a uh, bit of a it's like almost right there, maybe right here. You can see there's a a lot of hydraulic fluid built up right there. Uh, that's probably where my leak is, but uh, I'm gonna take off uh, these uh, little covers these, that hold the line in place. There are two of them. I'm gonna take those off, and uh, looks like they're gonna need an Allen wrench to take that off, and uh, then remove uh, my arm as well, and just see uh, if, uh, if I can get the local Napa dealer to uh, that also has a, a hydraulic uh, shop next door uh, to uh, at least replace the line. I think the, the arm is in good shape, it's still working, um, but uh, I'm going to have to get somebody to work on that line, get me a new one. The uh, way to take this off, there's a, a pin here, we'll uh, tap that out, and then this whole, this whole connection here uh, is is uh, held in place by this pin, and then down here we've got another uh, pin that's holding uh, the the bottom of the hydraulic arm. So we'll start off uh, removing this, uh, setting these uh, setting these off to the side or allowing them to sort of fall downward um, and then uh, we want to do this with the arms in the down position so that nobody's going to get hurt uh, and then we'll uh, take the pin out tap that out and then come down and and remove uh, the the uh, pin at the bottom as well and then my plan is just to take this whole hydraulic arm and the line in as one piece and let the folks at the shop that's gonna uh, do the work for me decide uh, whether or not that uh, line needs to be completely replaced, which it does, and then decide if that uh, hydraulic arm is still working or not. Last year, it had some leaking going on, I believe, uh, at the end of the year, at the end of the season, there was some uh, oil on it that I didn't put there <laughs> so uh, it may be that we just get the whole combination of hydraulic line and hydraulic arm replaced that's the job for the day I've got the uh, line out of the holder here uh, these little screws they um, required a five from my Allen wrench set. And uh, I fit both front and the back without any trouble. And uh, so now, now that we've got that freed up, I'm gonna go and start here. Be real careful. This is the part that controls the arm. So we wanna make sure that they're in the down position so that there's not anything that's gonna fall and uh, catch us in a pinch. Just tapped uh, that out. It had a washer uh, that sits up against this edge here. And uh, then this end was uh, sticking out the back. Um, uh, and was just able to grab hold of that and tap this end and pull on that end and it slid right out pretty well. I will be applying some kind of WD-40 or something like that just to um, uh, help reposition it. Uh, everything's rusted in there and uh, so we'll apply something and we we'll start to put it back together to help it uh, uh, have a little bit healthier life going forward. Now with both the arms out of place, 
uh, and allowing the hydraulic arm to move around we can get a little bit better look uh, down here uh, we'll just uh, end up tapping this pin uh, down and off and then uh, that's that's what's retaining uh, the pin in its position and we'll just pull from front to back and uh, get that uh, get that out of the way and that should be enough to free that hydraulic arm and have it ready to go in to the shop so this is what we're dealing with this little pin uh, wraps around the groove on the end of the uh, well I guess this clip or clamp wraps around the groove on the end of this pin uh, like this one is doing here and in order to get it off you just spread uh, the ends there or tap on them like I did uh, actually just used that to tap on them and uh, it uh, came off pretty easily and I was able to remove the hydraulic arm from its attachment site here and uh, so this is what it looks like on both sides and from a distance with the hydraulic arm off hydraulic arms there on the ground so that's pretty much it for the video today um, wasn't a whole lot of work uh, to get that off uh, mainly just hot being out in the sun but uh, it fairly easy uh, process and uh, I will get back with you when I start to put it back together and I hope this has been helpful and I uh, hope you like the video uh, feel free to subscribe the more the merrier and I'll see you in part two